This is Apidia 2, I think. Well, there's some debate about that. Uh, on the Amiga. A Japanese shoot map type game. Okay, here we go. And I am controlling a B in a classic shoot map. Oh, God. Are you telling me I die when I land? I've seen bees land on the ground and not die instantly. Although I have seen bees dead on the ground. But then I suppose if they would die, then that's where they'd end up. They wouldn't die and say floating in the air. Is that a flat? Oh, I wonder why there was a flower floating in the air. Oh look, I could drop bombs now. This is pretty cool. It's quite an original concept for a, for a game. I mean, we've seen insect games before, like Sim Ants, but this is definitely not a simulation because <laughs> if I saw bees behaving like this I would be a lot more scared oh it's a giant snail well normal sized snail that is giant to me oh I blow up its head <laughs> I have I did actually see this game I, that snail was jogged my memory I saw it on a um, uh, what do you call it uh, 100 way giant exploding fungus oh it shoots up it shoots when I shoot it okay um, yeah, I saw it in like a 100 Amiga games video, which is quite good. Oh, God, explode anyway. That's another thing. When bees die, they don't tend to explode. At least, not in my experience. Is that a wasp? Well, oh! Oh! Damn it. Now, I wonder if that if that coming out of there is a power-up. I don't think so, because I just uh, tried to collect it while I was invincible, that, and it didn't work, and that means it was way... Yeah. Rapidly rising difficulty curve. I'm having more trouble. Oh, I'm rubbish at these games. <laughs> so yeah, this is a request by uh, the Hooded Gamer, uh, who made the request on my 64 subscriber video thingy, and yeah, it's quite cool. Uh, yeah. Oh, that was a speed up, I think. Whoa, grasshopper, and a. Uh, Cockroach at the bottom there. Oh. Whoa! Yeah, if insects were really like this, I wouldn't go outside. <laughs> oh, I don't want to kill the butterfly. Oh, it's trying to kill me though. Yeah, we're prejudiced. We hate the eared flies and things because they look ugly, but I can't shoot that because I don't want to get close to the ground. Very nice uh, graphics. I mean, you know, this, this reminds me of. Uh, Honey, I shrunk the kids with the giant... Oh, it's a boss. I didn't even notice him. Um, which is kind of an annoying film, but... It's got some cool visuals with the... Uh... Oh, I'm back here again. With the giant... Well, not giant, but the, the you know... The stuff on the small scale. Like the, the, the leaves and things. And the, the, the grass leaves, that is. Grass blades, sorry. Grass is bladed, not leafed. Yeah. Whoa! Hopping grasshopper. Oh no! I am so rubbish at this game. But I'm gonna have another go. Yes, I will continue from the beginning again. Oh, little flying ants. Well, I thought flying ants were bigger than bees. Maybe they're not flying ants. I don't know. I'm not too knowledgeable about the insect kingdom, but it is quite. I mean, it's not like this, but it is actually horrible in its own way. You know. Apparently there's um, uh, this creature called a lancet fluke, lancet fluke, which um, oh, damn it. which what it does, it's a parasite, and in order to continue its life cycle, it needs to get into the gut of uh, a cow-like creature or something similar, something that eats grass. So what it does is it burrows into the brain, or, or passes for a brain, of an ant, and basically sort of hijacks its 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 brain and controls it and forces it to climb up the nearest blade of grass and just uh, stay up there and keep climbing up uh, so that it will be more likely to be eaten by a cow or other herbivore so it basically it, you know mind controls the, uh, the poor ant and drives it up the blade of glass like an all-terrain vehicle well, uh, you know, that's pretty horrible. Imagine if there's something like that in... Is that a dung beetle flying up, th throwing a piece of shit at me? I, I just noticed that. Brilliant. There's other horrible things in the insect kingdom, of course. We're... Oh, I've got a little bee partner. That's, oh, that's cool. That's, 
that's nifty. Oh! Now, back to this simple gun. I'm gonna lose now. I don't know what those icons are at the bottom. Whoa. Uh, yeah, another example of horrible insectness is uh, the concept of traumatic insemination, <laughs> which is where the, oh, the male insect will penetrate the female but not in anywhere that is supposed to be penetrated. Basically, he will stab her with his sharp thingy and, uh, you know, in basically any part of her body and just inject his stuff and <laughs> hoping that it will get to where it needs to go. All right, fine, one more go. And uh, that is pretty damn horrible. <laughs> But that's the insect world. So as horrible as it looks in a computer game uh, like this, it's far worse <laughs> in real life. Not want to be an insect. But then if I was, I wouldn't really have the consciousness to to wish that I wasn't. So, so yeah, that's this is a shoot 'em up game, and I'm, <laughs> I'm talking about consciousness. I really can ramble about anything, can't I? So it's quite a cool game. Uh, yeah, back to the game, that is. <laughs> Enough about entomology or etymology. I always get mixed up. One's, one's the study of insects, the other's the study of words and their origins. Which I don't know why. I'm sure there's... Whichever the one of those is about the study of words, uh, has anyone who can talk about that will have some interesting facts about why they're called the same sounding sort of thing. These wasps are really tough and annoying. Die! Oh! Yeah, don't shoot mushrooms, they'll shoot other mushrooms at you. Yeah. Quite cool music. Uh, nice backgrounds. It's quite difficult, so I can't see myself playing it too much, but if only I was better at it. I could cheat, I suppose, but I'd rather lose than cheat. I'd rather lose a lot than cheat, you know. And if I did cheat and then lost, then I'd be really embarrassed. Oh, look at that wheat stalk in the, in the, in the foreground, that's cool. My sense of scale here, you know, with the, you know, the giant wheat stalk and so on. And the butterfly. Oh, died again. Okay, I'm nearly dead. So, it just remains for me to say thank you again to the Hooded Gamer uh, for suggesting this. It's quite a cool game. Uh, thanks for your, thanks for your request and uh, thanks for your interest and uh, yeah, I, hooded gamer. Why is he hooded? What's he trying to hide? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, that's a pidger uh, on the Amiga and hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.